Hey plant gang, beautiful large magnolia here, Magnolia solangiana, the saucer magnolia. Uh, for our campus, uh, this plant is one of the most iconic plants that we have on campus uh, because of its beautiful spring bloom. Uh, and there's a lot that goes in, in that, uh, but much like other magnolias, a fuzzy bud starting to form here in August, which will then result in beautiful flowers in the spring. This is a deciduous magnolia, a very popular landscape plant. So magnolia exolangiana, let's put an X in there because a lot of them are hybrids that we see uh, of that species. Uh, this plant is hardy from zones four through nine, uh, can reach 30 foot high in some cases, can reach 25 foot wide in some cases. So a big stature magnolia. There are other smaller magnolias uh, and in fact, some of the plants that you see on the market that are listed as saucer magnolias uh, may be hybridized with uh, smaller plants that uh, maybe are more suitable for the home landscape. Uh, but if you do have room for a full-size saucer magnolia that can get in excess of 30 foot high, 25 to 30 foot wide, I say plant that plant because it can be spectacular. Uh, this plant uh, has uh, long elliptical leaves with a bit of an accumulate tip to them. Uh, dark green above, lighter green below. Uh, here in the summertime, you're gonna see fuzzy buds start to form, which again will result in the flowers in the spring. Uh, one of the things that makes deciduous magnolias so beautiful in bloom is they bloom before they have foliage. Uh, depending on the weather, it will depend on the bloom time. Uh, when this plant gets the signal to bloom, uh, Sometimes it can actually bloom a little bit too early for us in zone 6B, and so uh, they can then be susceptible to frost damage. But a good year with a magnolia, a deciduous magnolia blooming is a good year. And so uh, take a look at this plant, one you should definitely know. So uh, when we talk about some ID characteristics, uh, we're going to talk about a smooth grayish bark even in a maturity, an only very old uh, ma saucer magnolias will start to get a little bit of furrowed nature to their bark. Uh, alternate leaf arrangement uh, is something you want to look at. Um, for a magnolia, deciduous magnolia, we'll say medium-sized leaves. Uh, and here is a landscape tip. Beautiful, beautiful specimen flowering shrub or small tree for the landscape. Man, we have got an update on the saucer magnolia here. Uh, the cultivar I'm standing front in front of is called Deep Purplish Dream. Uh, it's a beautiful one. The flowers are just opening up. Uh, we're really enjoying it in the garden. And this is very characteristic of the saucer magnolia with darker colored petals on the outside and then opening up to a lighter center. Uh, as you can see, just completely covered here with flowers, a beautiful tree. Uh, we're hoping for no frost. Frost can uh, hurt this if you get too hard of a frost, uh, but buds plumping up and starting to bloom, getting ready. Uh, we're just at the beginning of bloom here. Wonderful plant. People are walking by, they're loving this plant. Uh, it's a great one for the home landscape.